Hi, hello, how are you? Oh my gosh, it's been a while. Is this thing on? Do I know what I'm doing? Uh, probably not. Um, <laughs> hi, I am here. I have a video for you. I have a build for you. So here's the thing. This build I made, and I know here's the thing, it sounds like an excuse, but it's just me giving you a fact. I meant to share this build with you by the first week of October, you know, when Realm of Magic was still relevant. Um, <laughs> and I just didn't. It didn't happen, and I built all of it but the third floor until a week ago. A week ago, I did finally sat down, and I finished the third floor of this build, and now here it is for you. But uh, what is this? So basically, I know, and like I said, I was doing this when Realm of Magic had just come out. And that was when everyone was doing like all the renovations and things. And I still have a couple renovations I need to share with you guys. But a lot of people were renovating the uh, HQ in the Magic Realm. And so I was going to do something similar. But then I decided to scrap the entire building in the on the headquarters lot. And I was like, here we go. I'm going to make a new one from scratch and just make it what I want it to be instead of trying to, I don't know, renovate the the original build and like fix it or whatever for a lot of reasons. One, I had some ideas that I just like and I saw some buildings, like pictures of buildings and things. And I was like, these are the things I want to do in this video or I mean in this build, I guess, which turns into this video for you. Um, and so many people have already renovated the build so that you have so many options for things that look similar to what comes in the base game or the base pack, I guess. I don't know. And so I wanted to do something different. And so I decided to do, and I also really wanted towers in this. And you'll notice by the end of this that, yeah, I created three towers. And of the three, one of them is used a ton and the other two, not so much slash at all. So that's fine. They're their exterior they are also there you can expand into them if you want to but so this is my magic school slash realm of magic headquarters slash all that stuff and i based it on this victorian uh, i want to say chateau but i don't know if chateau is the right word but just this big victorian house three i think the one i was actually looking at was like four or five stories and one of them actually went halfway underground and that's why i played a little bit with the landscaping initially um, and the roof was super tall. It was like this dramatic slope, which just didn't work. I ended up playing so much with the just base dimensions on the shell just to get things to kind of look how I wanted them to before I could even go in and really decorate. But this, I think, I feel like every time I do a big build this year, I guess, since this is my year of big builds, I am like, Oh, but I really like it and I do. And I don't know. I mean, I don't think that's a bad thing, just having like confidence in my builds and things like that. But I really like this. And even better, I really like playing with it. And so, like, a lot of times I build houses and things to share with you. And I love them, like, aesthetically and structurally and all these things. But I don't get to play. Like, I think of how many houses I've built and. I don't have time to like play in all of them, you know, with like a household and all these things. But this is a community lot and I have gotten to play with it a lot. So what a lot of this is, is me, you'll notice like, so this video, I think this video is like 20 minutes long. It, I think the actual length of the raw like recording of me recording me building this was like five, maybe almost six hours. And, like, that was spread out over a long time. But I would sit for two hours at a time and build this and, like, things like that. So I was I was doing a lot. And there were a lot of, like, revisions and things. And I was just playing with a lot of different things and a lot of different, I don't know, uh, architectural moves. Like, the roof over the, the entryway and what doors I would use and how I place the windows and the color scheme and all these things. And so, like, wildly, if you watch my videos, if some of you are still here, hi. <laughs> um, do you know I usually spend a lot of time on landscaping? This is the build where it was the complete opposite. I spent so, so much time on the shell and the interior and just getting every little detail right that the landscaping was kind of like, I don't know. It was definitely lower on my priority list than a lot of things in this. And I think I, think I did a lot. So um, 
what I wanted to do was I kind of wanted to think of what this was meant to be for. Like, obviously, you go there, and this is where the sages hang out, and you learn magic and all these things. And the other, the original building kind of did that. Like, the, you could do things, and there was stuff around and all these things. But it just... It didn't feel very official to me, and that's a lot, for a lot of reasons. Like, you have all these weird little terraces and just rooms that are kind of themed but not themed and all this. And so what I wanted to really do was lean into the fact that we have three different magical options. I don't want to say schools because they're not technically, but you know what I mean. Focuses, that, that kind of thing. And so, and like... The sages never leave this lot, really. Or, I mean, I guess I haven't played enough not focusing on World of Magic to notice if they pop up places, but they're always here. And so I consider this to be a school and a headquarters and a meeting place and, like, the secret location and um, also just a home. Like, people live here. And I know a lot of people did dorms, and you'll see the dorms in a minute. Like, I'm getting way ahead of myself because I'm not used to videos this long. But I was kind of, like... I didn't actually like formally write a list or anything, but I had a list of things I wanted this to do, this build to do. And one of them was like, even if they don't use it, I wanted somewhere that the sages, the three sages, like quote unquote lived. And so you'll see in a bit that I actually built each of them a room um, in in the the building and things. And it just, oh, I, it just came out nice. And I was just trying to do like, just, Anything I could think of, really, to make this place, like, kind of fancy and elegant. And uh, it's a lot more Victorian on the outside than it is on the inside. I will say that. Um, definitely didn't lean too heavily. Because that's another thing is I didn't want to do much with anything outside of Realm of Magic in this. Like, I think everything in here is either Realm of Magic or base game. Because I was putting so much into this build and so much detail that I wanted it to be heavily themed. And I wanted it to be, like, if you only have Realm of Magic... Boom, done, cool. Also, building community lots is so satisfying because I can make it as expensive as I want and I don't even have to make excuses about it. Like right now, like this, this is a house, I'd be like, well, this house costs 120,000 simoleons, but you could like delete a bathroom or they have three living rooms or I don't, I used a lot of plants <laughs> and things like that. But here, like put on your live edit or no, um, free build cheat bulldoze and place and bam you have a new school and so like I just kind of went ham and you'll notice like there are some elements like I did the first floor is pretty sparse uh at least in that main area and I did keep that like central like staircase down entrance moment but I did I made it more interesting I I think it's a little bit bigger maybe the way I did it and the stairs aren't as claustrophobic and the I put in these little water features and the water ends up I don't know if I have a recording of me changing it but though I make the water purple so you have this like little magical moment in there and just I don't know it's empty like there's space for you I end up putting rugs in at the end but there's space for you like if you want to have more seating I can't I put so much seating in this and like there's so many different places but if you want more seating on that first floor, like, bam, you have open space to put seating. Or if you want an army of knights, like uh, suits of armor, boom, done, space for that. If you want to fill the main entryway with cow plants or uh, six of mosquito traps or whatever you want to do, like, go for it. The space is there. Uh, what I really focused on in this first floor, though, were the three sages, like, or the three aspects. So we have... Three different rooms, they're placed um, around the, they're placed around, you know. Um, so you have the front door on the front of the building, obviously, and then you have a room to the left, a room to the right, and a room forward. And each one represents a different focus. So we have, and focus might not be the right term, I don't know. Uh, we have one room for, I can't remember if it's household or practical magic. I think it's practical magic. There's one for the mischief magic, and then there's one for the untamed magic. And so I theme them around kind of my perception of all of the things that you could do with those magics. So the practical magic one is obviously very green, and it's very homey and just cozy and nice. And there were bookshelves in there before, so I stuck with that. Like, I put little bookshelves in there. Also, every single one of these rooms has a cauldron in them because that was one thing I didn't like in the original build is you have that one room off to the right that I think is meant to be specifically 
themed for practical magic, but it's one of the few like cauldrons on the first floor. And so everyone just uses it, um, which is fine, but I wanted a little more order here. So each room has a cauldron and then I colored, I made them a color that was in theme with the way I was building the rest of the room. Um, Mischief magic, I made kind of, I don't know, funny, I guess. I don't know. I made it bold and then I put like the sloth painting in there, which is obviously very much not Victorian, but that's fine. And just yellows and things because I don't know, it's mischief, right? So I wanted it to be playful. And the untamed, I think, I made a little more serious. Like I made it a lot of blacks and reds and things. Um, I guess I was thinking like chaos kind of. So we have this like kind of like escalation throughout. We have practical magic, which is like, oh, just like go and hang out and have fun and read a book. And then you move into mischief magic and it's all pranks. And I can't remember, but I feel like I hit a gnome in there. And then the <laughs> the untamed magic. I think I put a book of death in there or whatever it is. The one like death spell, put that in there. It was just a little dramatic, you know, but. I mean, we needed a cool place for Morgan and his followers or students or whatever to hang out. Um, <laughs> I had a lot of fun creating like little seating arrangements for those rooms and kind of thinking about how each room could be practical and also match just that particular magic and the sage that went with it. Like, I don't know, the sages as they are. Also, I have a sage makeover that I need to post uh, if you still care. Um, I have a lot of things like I need to share with you. I just, I haven't been uploading. I have been busy in a way that I did not expect to be busy this semester. And I say semester because it's largely focused on school, but I don't think I need to talk about that for 20 minutes, you know? Um, but yeah. And so that's the, pretty much the first floor, but the second floor, and I realize you might think this too, the second floor should have probably been the third floor, but I kind of like that the third floor is where it is. I don't know. Um, we'll get there. The second floor is where I put all the bedrooms. I put one side, there are three bedrooms, one for each stage. There's a kitchen in the center, not the center of that floor, but it's directly above the mischief magic room. And then I added a dormitory on the other side of the floor and in every floor there's this balcony a big open balcony so you can look straight down to the bottom which I like I don't know it makes it all feel like I was gonna say magical but that's obvious um it just makes it feel important maybe I don't know sophisticated I don't know it's just you know when you go into a building where you can stand on the bottom floor and look straight up through all the floors like you're like whoa I'm here like this is dramatic you know like there's a reason they want you to be able to see everything that's going on all the time so I don't know just that kind of moment was what I was going for and so I themed all the stages bedrooms in a similar way that I themed all of the work rooms I don't know the rooms that I created on the first floor and so they have similar wallpapers maybe even the same wallpapers and styles and color themes and all of those things I have yet to see the stages even walk into these rooms I think, but I think they're kind of interesting just to have as like a story element, I guess, or like, and look, I'm not, I'm not going to tell you what to do with your game, but I'm just saying if your Sim wants to get with a Sage, like, I mean, you're already at their house. Like, am I wrong? No, I'm not wrong. <laughs> and then the little dormitory, the dormitory is something I didn't do a ton to, like, I didn't want to I don't know. I didn't make individual rooms. It's just kind of like little, little beds, cots kind of moment because so many people have done dormitories and I feel like we all know what we expect from a little dormitory. Plus I put it in there mainly because I don't know the way I've played with Realm of Magic so far is I have a Sim that is working on her magic and it's actually the Sim from my last video, you know, like a million years ago. And I just don't want to leave. Like, I don't want to go back to the to Glimmerbrook and be like, all right, let's go to sleep. Like, whatever. Um, I just want to stay and, like, meet her needs in this realm and then get back to what I was doing. And so she can sleep there. She can shower there. She can obviously use the restroom. There has to be a bathroom regardless. Um, and then there's I've made a full kitchen. There's a cauldron in there. There's, there's everything you need. So, I don't know. It just feels complete. And also, look, 
if you really want to push this and you want to say that they're actually like a, you want to do like this teen household thing and say like this teen is off at boarding school learning their magic or whatever like a whole harry potter moment then you could just get some tiny lot in whatever world and then you'd have minimal builds you could uh bills not builds um you could turn your bills off or whatever and then you could just live here and that could be a thing and even if you wanted to do like a whole household moment like there's several beds in there you could have your little like group of wizard school magic school whatever you want to call it friends hanging out at the dormitory and all these things so and i put little desks in there and there's like a little like common area around a fireplace i don't think i put a ton of fireplaces in here but i certainly put enough I was like, there, there are going to be fireplaces in this building. There just have to be. And so there's a bathroom. The tower, this larger tower is the one I use the most. And so I put a bathroom here. I think I put a, I put a secret study room, which you'll see in a minute, in the upstairs because the third floor is the library. I did a whole floor library. And that's why the library should probably be the middle floor. And then the dormitories and things should probably be more private. So should, they should probably be at the top. But I don't know. I kind of like ending the building with a library. It seems so dramatic. Like there's no stairs. It's just like books everywhere. Um, so I don't know. Let me know what you think. I also built the dormitories first and I was not about to try to figure out moving those levels around. So just to be completely honest with you. And then on the bottom, one of the last things I added, I don't think it's actually recorded. I can't remember is that side entrance is a plant room and so depending on how you want to play it's kind of a little cheaty i just got like i down i took them from the gallery people's um perfect plants of the mandrake root and oh i don't remember what the other ones are i want to say belladonna but i just know that's a magical plant i don't know if it's actually in the game and i think i have an apple tree and then just like some empty pots and just like various like plant related things just so there's that room because I was going to do this like I was playing with ideas for things to do in the like yard area around like I was going to put a graveyard of like headstones of former sages and like maybe a garden and all these things but they just didn't seem right and I was looking at pictures of these like Victorian houses and um, I will like modern pictures of Victorian houses and the way they were landscaped and the landscaping seems so like organic and like overgrown but intentionally so and so I wanted to go with that vibe and I feel like part of the way this build was originally the way that EA designed it is that the headquarters was kind of eerie looking like obviously it's dark and there's a lot of like purple tones and things but it just looked kind of eerie and since mine's a little bit brighter there's a little bit more white and stuff involved with the the kind of like whimsical roofs that I really fell in love with when this pack came out and things like that I wanted like adding that overgrowth and just all these like dark and evergreen plants and these scattered flowers and things I think really pulled it together also speaking of landscaping can I just say that the terrain paint on the lot is permanent like that's what the lot looks like and you can't get rid of it and then every time I tried to cover it the way the world is it was like these wild colors so it wouldn't have blended in with the environment around like outside the borders a lot so I kind of just left it and then painted with the terrain tools around where the plants were so there was dirt under the plants but the cobblestone and things I left so I don't know how we feel about that I think it kind of works like it kind of looks I don't know just the way the rest of it the world is with like ruined structures and things and you'll also notice towards the end like it eventually became harvest fest and I had to go in and turn off decorations so that the house wasn't like covered in banners and lights and things because I don't know I feel like they're not celebrating harvest fest in Glimmerbrook I don't I don't know maybe that's just me but uh there's no graveyard for sages there's room if you want to design your own I thought it would have been fun to have like a little like spooky moment because I imagine this is like hundreds of years old right you know your standard like wizard school perception kind of thing I don't know but speaking of wizard school perception oh my gosh with the university stuff coming out soon like using realm of magic and university kind of hand in hand you could we could probably do a lot for like that kind of wizard boarding school moment that'd be really interesting once that, that pack comes out but yeah I 
did like this build a lot, and I have, like I said, I've had a lot of fun playing with it, so I have play tested this build, and everything works. I'm sure there are some, like, corner bookshelves in the library that just don't work because they're tucked into those corners, but look, if you... <laughs> If you can't find another bookshelf in that library that your sim wants to use, I don't know what to tell you. There's so many bookshelves and study spaces and all these things. Also, uh, I think there's enough bookshelves in there for your sim to spend like a decent amount of time searching for tomes. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but something to experiment with, I guess. And like I said, some of those smaller towers are empty, so you could potentially expand even further if you wanted to add some like sketchy things in your or whatever things, I don't know, in your little headquarters. But this is on the gallery as always, and the screenshots are about to roll through. I have, like I said, a lot of things to share. So hopefully you don't mind seeing some Realm of Magic stuff anyway, at least until university comes out. But screenshots are about to roll through, so I am going to let you go. I hope you had a wonderful October since I missed out on um, some Lorene, and I don't know if I'm going to do like a major Sims miss thing. I think I just want to be able to just post consistently, so that's kind of what I'm working with. But I hope you're doing well. I hope you enjoyed this build. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification if you're feeling snazzy uh, so you can see when I invariably post. <laughs> and I will see you in the next video. Bye.